morning YouTube. A little while ago I made a quick uh, video on a couple of different 3x3 tarp configurations that I wanted to test out before um, we did our Parongahau camp just to give me a bit of a couple of options as to how I was going to set up depending on how the weather was going to be and we were expecting it to be um, fine half the time and raining half the time so um, I wanted a open tarp configuration like an A-frame plus something that was like a tent um, so I toyed around with a couple of those I was really impressed with the um, pyramid tent um, configuration and um, I didn't use it while we were at Parongahau but I want to today have a little bit of muck around with it again to see if I can perfect it a little bit more because the only thing I didn't like about that uh, triangular tent configuration was that the doorway is a bit difficult to get in and out of and the other thing that concerns me is that um, when you're inside the pyramid shape configuration for that tarp um, it's very uh, enclosed and um, because tarps are sealed with silicon um, it's virtually like being inside a plastic bag so one of the things that concerns me about that setup is that there's not enough airflow inside uh, especially if you're going to use a cooker inside because it's raining a uh, gas cooker and you want to cook a meal you need to make sure that there's a bit of airflow so today I just want to have a muck around with the doorway on that pyramid tent to see whether I can alter it a little bit to make it uh, safer and more convenient to use so um, this short video is like a part two to the previous one just adding on and having a look at some tweaks I might be able to make So if you haven't seen my previous um, video on the two tarp configurations I was messing with, this is um, a New Zealand production uh, and it's made by a company called Kiwi Camping and this is their Keraroo 3. It's not a true th 3x3 three three tarp, it's actually a 2.9x3 but you can hardly notice the difference. I've also made um, a couple of mods to it since the last time I used it. This tarp was um, way cheaper than a DD 3x3 three three, which is what most people prefer to use. but it come with a couple of shortfalls. Um, to begin, the ridge line is taped. It's not sealed with silicon, but it's a very good um, version of the taping process. Doesn't worry me too much. I've had it rained on and it hasn't leaked but eventually I'll paint the silicon strip down the top just to waterproof it a little bit more. It also didn't originally have any tie downs across the ridge line so that you could put the ridge line on the outside of the tarp. So I've sewed three 
tie downs on the ridge line. Um, a DD tarp actually has three tie downs on each long side. This only has two and I haven't altered that. Also a DD tarp has um, tie downs on the, the end, the two ends. This one didn't so I've sewed a tie down in the middle of each side as well just to give me a few more options when lashing guy lines um, or using different configurations just so that I can have enough guy rope and do what I want to do with it. Okay, so let's get started. So we can see for a start, the first thing I really like about uh, this configuration is that the floor size is really big. Um, because this is almost a 3x3 three three tarp, 3 meters by 3 meters, that means one each side is roughly 3 meters long. And I'm a tall guy, I'm 6 foot 4, which means I'm almost 2 meters high. So when I'm lying inside this, that gives me another half a meter at my head and foot for you know, space to move, basically. This is my ground sheet. Which is two meters long. almost two meters long and you can see how well it fits along one of these sides once it's in there and that's about a meter well, just to go over just to go over the beginning part of it again you peg the two far corners you pull the ridge line tight so that everything's taut and you bring the side to the middle side to the middle and both peg them and then that gives you your doorway here and then you take one hiking pole and you climb inside and you pitch the hiking pole right at the middle and I've got um, one of the ridge line tags that I've sewed on there is like right in the middle and then that will give you a pyramid shaped teepee. Then with the doorway, the centre, you can peg that down here to keep it closed with the front flap for the door pegged down to the side. That very much makes the hole inside like completely sealed. Especially if you now peg down the floor at the other sides along the edge. It keeps the whole thing very taut and hammered right down on the ground. So the first thing that really concerns me about this is there's not enough breathability because it, the whole thing is sealed. And if you're burning a gas canister inside, you know, that could become a problem. The other thing I like about it is, you know, 
I'm almost two metres tall, and that's above my midpoint. So you get a high ceiling inside as well, so you can sit up very comfortably inside. I'll show you inside in a minute with a bit of my gear um, laid out inside so that you can see how much room is in there. But the first thing I'm just wondering about is, would it be more practical to actually have the door like that? even just folded like that, that little bit of, that tiny little bit of space there gives you a lot more um, breathability and if it's hosing down with rain, that little hole is not really going to cause you any real problem. So there's another option. What I've done is placed a peg. Remember there's two tie downs in the middle of each long side. I've placed a peg in the one nearest to the door and just pulled it tight against that end and against the pole. So that wall is out this way as far as it can go. And um, that's given me a nice um, deep sleeping area as well as an open front for like a sunny day or whatever. So there's plenty of room in here for me. I can put a rope on here, around and underneath, to hold that up. Or I can take it right down to the ground and seal that door right off in seriously wet weather. There's room here for me to cook. More than enough room for my Bergen. In fact, I can line my Bergen down at the head or foot end 
um, of my sleeping mat for extra uh, insulation against the ground. Yeah, and you know, for a tall guy, I can sit up in here without my head touching the roof. So as far as I'm concerned, apart from the fact that it doesn't have a sealed in floor like most hiking tents, um, this option is as good as a tent. Another good reason for taking a tarp instead of a tent, because you get both options. You get a tent type um, option like this and you can use it as an open air tarp like an A-frame or a flat shelter over a hammock saving you a lot of weight and a lot of room in your pack. To call you tonight, but I ended up just like that. The people I despise, the people that never make a difference. I've just wrapped that around the top of the hiking pole and then up and out and tied it at the back and that keeps all that out of the way. So a bit of bungee. I'll just wrap that around the top of the hiking pole and then up and out and tied it at the back and that keeps all that out of the way. So I'm not sure whether that's a new configuration or not. Um, I've not seen any of those charts or diagrams or YouTube videos um, that show an option exactly like that. Not from what I remember. Um, so that's definitely the kind of thing. I'll be looking for. And
always put another hiking pole here and a guy lying down and you've got like a vestibule so I like that too because that virtually doubles the space inside or triples it Rains, you can quickly cover the front like that just by pegging that out at that corner to hold it firm across the doorway. Sweet. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.